Hey, how's it going everyone? How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another Steam 2 video. And today we're going to be checking out the new weapon that Bungie just got through at us. Out of nowhere, this weapon just appeared. And today we're going to be checking this weapon out in the Crucible and how it actually performs there. So here it is. Here's the new exotic weapon, the Outbreak Perfected. Or should I use say, updated exotic weapon. And the first thing that I want to say is that we don't really have exact stats on the weapon right now. We don't really know how much range it has, how much stability, or handling. We just know what it tells us in game, but we don't really know exact numbers, because it's classified in the Dusty database. But I can tell you from using this weapon that it has some pretty good range, especially for a full thrift pulse rifle. And even though the stability doesn't look like it's a lot of stability, this weapon has to be the most stable pulse rifle that there is on console. Especially when it comes to 450s. This thing is just super, super stable. I love it. So now let's take a look at the perks that we have on the weapon. The first one is the Corruption Spreads. This weapon creates Siva Nanite Swarms on rapid hits and on precision kills. And this is what really is going to step up your damage when it comes to dealing with big enemies or dealing with small groups or small enemies. Since this perk can pretty much handle both, you're going to be able to proc the swarms, just hitting the enemy over and over again, putting some more damage into big enemies, and for the smaller enemies, once you kill one with a precision hit, the nanites are going to swarm the other ones and kill them. So this is definitely just an amazing PvE perk. After that we have extended barrel, which is going to give us more range and more recoil control, but it is going to take down our handling just a bit. After that we have accurate rounds, which is going to give us more range, pretty good. And then we have Outlaw, which is going to greatly decrease our reload time whenever we get a precision kill. So this perks up really nicely with the Corruption Spreads perk, so that's just amazing together. And the final perk that we have is Parasitism. I think I said that right. This weapon does more damage to enemies based on the number of Siva Nanites that attach to them. So once you get this perk to proc, and a big enemy has some Nanites on them, the more you shoot them, basically the more damage that they are going to take thanks to this perk. And it really stacks up the damage on some of the big bosses. If you just keep firing at them, you're going to see that by the end, you're going to do just a whole lot more damage per shot than you were doing at the beginning. This is really what's going to make the weapon stand out on PvE and just be able to output just crazy amounts of damage for a primary. For PvP, it's not really going to help us much, which is kind of a shame. But sometimes it does proc, and sometimes you're able to kill people a little bit faster, but you just don't count on it a little bit too much. But yeah, this is the Outbreak Perfected. A pretty nice looking weapon, and definitely a surprise that I was not expecting today. I don't think anyone expected for us to get a new weapon today, but it's here. So I think that's enough of me talking about the weapon, so let's actually take this thing into the Crucible, and let's see how we do. You're in the lead. We go. Down. Yeah, the time to kill is actually not too bad whenever you hit some headshots. But you gotta make sure that all your shots are actually headshots. So you actually see the difference. Oh, fusion. I think I should be dead. Oh, no. I have the wrong grenade. I love the sound that it makes whenever you get a headshot kill. It just makes it so satisfying in a headshot kill. Nice, we procked it. Oh, someone's going this way. I'm not sure. I think we're good. He's wondering where that super is. Should be another guy around. You're pulling ahead. Yeah, it's a very stable weapon. I'm not sure why it feels so stable when the stability stat doesn't really say it's supposed to be that stable. But I just, it's just really stable. You hear it around, a lot of other people are also using it. Oh, there's another one. Ooh, that was close. Thankfully, I managed to just hit him with all headshots. I kind of want to tilt this thing out against a super. Oh, there's our chance. Not too bad. Is he going to peek again? I doubt it. Oh, he did peek again. Oh, I really thought he was gonna be dead. Alright, we did a couple of mistakes, but we ended up getting killed. Oh. 
the floaty warlocks are just all over the place right now. <laughs> oh, he was so close. Okay, somebody got him. Good job, buddy. Good job. Oh, do I hear super? Oh, yes, I do. Put some damage into him. Is he going to turn back? I don't think so. I don't want to get too close to him because he will get me. Yeah, just look at that stability. Look at that stability, man. I love it. It's nice having a very stable pulse rifle like this one. Especially a very high uh, rate of fire one. Where'd he go? There he is. He was a pop. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> the other guy. Nice. Oh, no! Can we get this? No, we can't get that. Reckless 2 OP. Close range. Even though he didn't have the buff, but still. <laughs> Too good close range. The that other one? Oh, that's not forgotten. Let's see. Where do you think they're gonna spawn? Let's go for this side. I got you, buddy. I got you. I'll help you out. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that lag on that kill was uh was a little bit too much for me. You know something tells me that I probably shouldn't look down this. But something tells me that I should as well. So, well we'll do both. And there's no one here. Well that's a first. There's usually at least one person here. I completely missed all my dives. There we go. Yeah, one guy. I think somebody else is gonna keep pushing. Did I see somebody or am I seeing things? I might be seeing things. I think I've been playing for a little bit too much today. So it might be a, that too. There we go. We secure C. So we got C, we got B. Things are looking good. Let's see, it's someone's up there. I don't see anybody. Oh, there's our boy. He was so close to that. Ah, he put a ball. But then he beat. <laughs> Come on. Show yourself. Let me hit you with this beautiful, beautiful weapon. Oh, he walked into them. Not a lot of people walk into them, but when they do, they actually take some pretty good damage from them. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. You win, you win, you win. Is that gonna hit anybody? Oh, it's doing some damage. Yeah, those tens. Wait, did I use the 40 on that guy? Oh, it's because he got... He got hit by the nanites. So I do extra damage. Is that gonna hit anybody? No, they're just gonna hang out. It's not a lot of in a lot of situations where those things actually come into play here in the crucible. But when they do, they are very nice. Zone C captured. Zone advantage is yours. Your advantage grows. Stay strong. Two for one. Oh, can you get him? Nice, I got him. What's a headshot though? Oh, that's a headshot. He's gonna hit him. Yes! Extra damage! <laughs> I like it. Oh, I should have I should have super in there. I should have super in there. I could have gotten all of them. I'm not sure if I have the range to uh, fight people at this range. Oh, I hit him. Anybody else? No, it looks like we're good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, is that a multi tool? Sure is. Alright, let's take some cover. Nice, we got him. And uh, my teammate didn't die. Even better. Alright, here we go. We managed to grab the good flags. So, we can start making some progress here. There's another one over here. Oh, he was invisible! 
Sneaky, sneaky hunter. Oh, but we, we lost V immediately. Oh, that sucks. Is that hitting anybody? No, it doesn't look like hitting anybody. This guy is brave for putting down the riff right there. Like, out in the open. Is that gonna hit anybody? I don't think so. Oh, get away from me, Tyson. Don't feel like dealing with the last word right now. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to get close to those, though. Alright, they go away after a couple seconds. Man, it's just so stable. I can't get over that stability. It's just so good. Oh, it got me. It got me. I almost got him, too. Oh, he hit me first. Can we kill him? Can we kill him? Yes! <laughs> we might just get him. Oh, can't escape that, though. Can't escape that. Oh, another Spectre Blades. It's just yeah, a lot of Spectre Blades. I think a lot of them is just people trying it out after, like, the nerf and seeing how it is. It's definitely a lot easier to kill. Because I definitely killed a lot more Spectre Blades today than I had for the past week. Let's just say that. Oh, that's a Goldie. Did he shotgun the Goldie? He sure did. <laughs> so, yeah, the Albert Prime is actually a pretty good weapon. The perks that it has might not be super PP oriented. You might not be able to use them every single time. But use the base weapon with his base stats, especially the high range and very high stability, actually make it a pretty good weapon for the Crucible. So, I definitely recommend that you give it a try. This weapon is definitely not going to be for everyone. It's going to be mostly for you post rifle lovers out there. You are definitely going to like this one. But anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. That's like if you didn't subscribe to the channel in case you guys haven't already. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about the new Outbreak if you have used it in the Crucible. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care everyone. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care everyone. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day.